see evolution is my God. Do you want your God to end? Yeah, I would agree with that. That's a good insight there is that, yeah, you have a God as well. Like people walk by through here all the time and they'll say, uh, I'm not religious. Yeah, yeah and I'll say, has a God, like, yes, yes, sure. you are. You're just as religious as any as yeah, I am. Yeah. You're just religious about something else, Different right? Way. Everybody has a God that they worship. The yeah. question is, who is that God, or what is that God? So your God for you would be evolution. evolution is my God. Do you want your God to end? Yeah, I would agree with that. That's a good insight there is that, yeah, you have a God as well. Like people walk by through here all the time and they'll say, uh, I'm not religious. Yeah, yeah and I'll say, has a God, like, yes, yes, sure. you are. You're just as religious as any as yeah, I am. Yeah. You're just religious about something else. Different right. Way. Everybody has a God that they worship. The yeah. question is, who is that God or what is that God? So your God for you would be evolution. All right. Well, there's not one. I wouldn't say that there's a single. Sex, I, money, yeah, pleasure. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. So there you go. So now we go back to Romans Those chapter one. God. Romans chapter one teaches that you know God exists. Listen to what it says. It says, "For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them." His invisible attributes, namely His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. And it goes on, for although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him, but they became futile in their thinking, their foolish hearts were darkened. And it says, look, claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God. So rather than worshiping God, they exchanged it for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. We begin, so rather than worshiping the one true God that we know, yeah. because we have a love of sin, whatever that sin may be, it can manifest itself in all these different kinds of ways, we will suppress the truth about the one true God and we'll run after other things and we'll worship that thing instead. And so you, you, you just gave me a very valuable insight right. into your life is that yeah. you are worshiping, you're just worshiping other ultimately things. yourself. Yeah. 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 So you want to be God. I am my own God. Right. I think so. Right. Just like Adam and Eve. You know, the Bible teaches that uh, having unrighteous anger in your heart towards your brother yeah. is equated to murder. You've been you're oh. you're guilty. You'll be guilty of the judgment. Yeah. Point being, God not only God not only sees um, what you do outwardly. God sees your inward thoughts and yeah. your emotions, and He can discern your thoughts and your attention. Yeah. And Jesus is like, it's not what goes into a man that defiles him; it's what comes out of him. And He, and he lists all these hatred and you know murder and, and, yeah, and yeah. sexual morality and I would say okay um, telling a lie yeah, let's say or lie. harboring hatred in your heart towards someone yeah. and then murdering them they're both sins but one is 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 worse than the other certainly um, but the point being Jesus talked about that the um, the things that we do outwardly are simply manifestations of what was already in our hearts right. we all have the ability to be Hitler we all have the ability to do what he did. Yeah. We all have sinful hearts. And so the thing, though, here's the thing, though. Why should God forgive, not forgive Hitler, but he should forgive you? Well, why, why, is your sin, why, would, why is your sin worthy of forgiveness, but his isn't? Does it, so would you equate my sins of non-belief? Is that, that all sins, were, are all sins equal? No. No? No. So Jesus talks about it, that there are greater sins that were committed and that greater punishment okay. will result as a result of sin. Unbelief is the only sin really that can be not forgiven. Oh. You die in unbelief, you, you won't be forgiven of that. Yeah. So, um. All these different things, it comes from your heart. And so you have a sinful heart and he has a sinful heart. And the point is you need a new heart. You need to be born again. You need God to come to you by His Spirit and take out your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh and fill you with His Spirit and change you, make you born again, grant you repentance and faith yeah. in Christ.